the Penn State Nittany Lions. James Franklin is still the coach, even after a four and five season last year. It was a weird, weird year. They had Journey Brown uh, come down with basically a medical retirement, so he couldn't play last year. Michael Parsons decided to opt out. He's the best guy on the defense. They had all kind of guys opting out here and there. Noah Kane ended up, uh, I believe, he got hurt early. It was just a strange, strange situation and. Kurt Soraka, like his one season, it was eh, but so I've talked to some people that believe that Mike Yursich is the guy that they wanted the whole time, and Soraka was the the backup plan. So when Yursich came open after Texas, that's why they they got rid of Kurt. So we'll see what that means. I don't know, but I've I've had guys tell me that. I mean, that's what I would say too if I just fired the other guy and hired the new the new guy. I mean, he, he did run the 2019 Ohio State offense, so... But isn't but, that what you would say if you just hired that guy? Well, yeah. That's the guy we wanted to begin with, but we didn't get him. But we didn't get him. Somebody Texas should internalize him. that in the in the office and say, we're Penn State. Why did we not get our first choice? That's a, uh, uh, This okay. is my problem with Penn State. You know this. Oh, I know. Is they should be a lot better than they are, and I think it's their fault they're not. The question about this team on offense is... The quarterback, Sean Clifford. True. They they got horses. They got talent. Yeah, this offense should be really good. Can Sean Clifford be awesome? And he was he was good the last four games of the year. They I mean they started 0 and five and then won their last four and he looked dynamic, but that was against some really not great teams. That's right. Not great teams. Uh and statistically, this team was much closer to uh a six and four or seven and Two or what? Like they, they were very close to being really good, and they had some really bad losses. Like they just made no statistical sense whatsoever. As bad as the defense seemed last year, they were still a top three Big Ten defense. Uh, they had several losses last year that that should have been wins. Like I said, there's too much talent, too much firepower on this team for them to be bad again. The number is nine. It's minus one fifteen juiced on both sides, and I look at this schedule. And I understand that there are some, uh, there's some speed bumps here, but I mean, I, I look at Ohio State, at Iowa, at Wisconsin, but then I don't, I don't see another loss on the schedule besides any of those, and I think that they could win one of those at least. Man, but I also see that they could lose one of these other games too. Which one are you saying? I mean, would it shock any one you? of them? Like Indiana, it would or? shock you if you lost if they lost to Auburn to you because your thoughts from Auburn. But, like, Auburn, Michigan, Indiana, none of those would shock me. If Rutgers upset somebody, we're going to get to them next, bro. You think that team's just going to lose all the games they're supposed to lose with Greg Schiano as their coach? Their ceiling is nine, in my opinion, because I don't think they're better than Wisconsin, and they haven't beaten a team they're, that's better than them in a long time. They haven't upset anybody in a long time. So I don't, I don't right, trust so are we, them. We're finally getting... We're finally getting a disagreement. We're going to get a disagreement. Okay, because. I'm going over because I think that this is a 10-win team. I think this is a but you good think team. That, but yeah. they got to beat a team that you think they're better than. I think... They got to upset Iowa. They got to upset Wisconsin or they got to upset or Ohio, Ohio State. State. Yeah. I think it's more probable that they will lose to one of... Lose all those games and lose to one of Auburn, Indiana... Michigan, Michigan Rutgers. or Rutgers. Or, or did, they'll, they'll yeah. lose a the game they're not supposed to... Because that's been the Franklin way. Yeah, okay. You, you Franklin hasn't there. had a clean season other than the one season where they won the Big Ten. No. I mean, they, they did go 11-2 and two in 2019. So, you know, like I, I, I do think... They still haven't beaten a team that's better than them. If that team is we, better do, than them... Do we know that Wisconsin and, and Iowa are substantially better than they are? Well, I mean... I, I don't know. You tell me. I think they are. I I think Iowa and Wisconsin I think Wisconsin every both. year I keep walking into this conference thinking Penn State's supposed to be good. Penn State's supposed to be the second best team in this conference. And Penn State is so far beyond where they're supposed to be that it's not close. And I can't respect them. Okay, so say that they don't lose to Nebraska and they don't lose to... Uh, well, I mean, they don't play Nebraska. So no, no, I'm talking about last game. year, last oh. last season, because it was a it came down to the it wire. It wouldn't change my opinion. Beating teams you're supposed to beat 
wouldn't affect my opinion, Gary. Okay. okay. I need you to show me where they've beaten a team where they were underdogs in that game. I need you to show me that in the last At several him. years of Franklin being their head coach. I don't have it. I don't have it. So One year okay. against Ohio State, the one time they won the Big Ten. That's the list. Once. And that was off of a blocked field goal. <laughs> and since then, it don't matter how you won because you're yeah. at least in the game. Since then, haven't done it since, and Ohio State's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And everyone says, well, look at Clemson. Well, look at Alabama. No, no, no. I can't explain Clemson other than the fact that if you want to compare yourself to the ACC and say you're just a trash conference, be my guest. I don't think that's true. You want to compare yourself to the SEC? Well, Alabama has losses. Not a lot, but they have lost to Auburn. They have lost to LSU. They have lost to other teams before. You're supposed to be the Auburn. You're supposed to be the LSU of your conference. You're not. And they hadn't been. You're losing assistant coaches in in in, in trying to get the guy you want to other big boy schools. That doesn't happen if you're really that big boy, if you're really the Penn State you think you are. Valid point. I want Penn State to be better because I like the Big Ten. I like watching the Big Ten. And I would like some competition there. There is none because they haven't stepped up their game. I think they're going to be underdogs against Iowa, and I think they're going to be underdogs against Wisconsin. And Ohio State. And Ohio State, obviously. And I think they're going to lose all those games because they haven't shown they can win a game where they're not the underdog. They're on the road at all three of them. At that point, they would have to win all nine of the other ones just to push. Just to push. That's my logic. And that's, the price the price isn't worth enough to make a difference on price. Yeah. I like him over. I, I you want, like him under. I want Penn State to be better. I want Franklin to be better. I don't know why he's not. I can't figure out why they're not. Yeah. Okay. Like, I look at it as they, I mean, they had won double-digit games in three of the last four years prior to last season. Last season seemed fluky. I think this team's going to get back to doing what they do. I think this, the outlook for this season will look completely different once we get to the middle of the year. That's that's the way I view it. Okay. So we shall see. Now we got to wrap up. We got one more team left. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.